Crops was founded in 1938 as a tobacco company, and with the help of Cy Berger in 1952, he designed the Topps' first baseball set. Every year during spring training, a photographer is sent out by Topps on assignment to capture the first photos of each player on every major league team. Uh, well, let's see, I've photographed spring training for 26 years and I've been with Topps for 27. Photo day is um, it's like Groundhog Day. It's the same thing every year, every day, day after day, and it's awesome. So we'll pose them up right here, and then when you get out there and pick up a pack of Topps trading cards and you see a guy posed in full uniform, it happened right here. So when we were actually at spring training for photo day, we took several cards with us and showed players the cards for the first time. Trout saw that card with the crazy catch on there for the first time. There was a lot of guys who saw their card for the first time and were like super excited about it. So maybe it's a picture from photo day, or it's a picture from last night, something great that happened in the game, and then we'll put that together, retouch the image, make sure you like, you know, it looks nice, and then we'll, it gets composed. Building the card is, is uh, very quick. Um, we have templates, go into Getty uh, Images and, and get our, our photograph, throw it in the template, send it over to MLB, and we usually get it up on tops.com within a couple hours. We get proof sheets, it's the last step to check it, and then it goes to the printer where then the card gets made. It sounds really short, but it actually takes several months to get that done. I think everybody pretty much works here is definitely a sports fan. Some people collected, you know, in various capacities over the years. And personally, like, I've always collected cards and I'm still a card collector. Kids across the world develop their love of baseball through the connection of baseball cards. Many times, the card helps develop math skills through player stats. So the Mike Trout card, card number one, 2016 Topps Baseball, was actually a very sort of different process for us. We had an image picked for it already, and he makes this catch, <laughs> and everybody the next day sort of collectively looked at each other and was like, we need to get this catch on a card. So it was very late in the process, and this doesn't always happen, but we went in, changed the image out, and had to sort of like now do it on the quick. We were pretty lucky. Um, you know, sometimes with these images, with with plays out in deep center field. Sometimes, uh, because the photographers, they're stationed out in the dugouts, cameras are zo zoomed in so close, they don't look good. It might not come out looking well on one of our cards. But in this case, in this case, we just got super lucky. Like, this turned out to be an amazing card. But then we decided to do a vote. Like, who should be card number one for top space ball? Because being card number one is kind of iconic. Last year was Derek Jeter, literally his last tops, like flagship baseball card he's going to have. And people remember who's on card number one. So we did a fan vote and Trout ended up winning the fan vote and became card number one with that crazy catch. Mm -hmm. 